Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be reviewing the brand new Vizzy Art Moisture Boost Oil Lip Shines. Very excited to see them come out with a new lip product. So if you want to hear my thoughts on this new product, then just keep watching. So as you guys know, Viseart has one of my favorite eyeshadow formulas in the world. They create such high quality, professional grade makeup products. And typically I know them for their powder products. So I was very excited to see them come out with a launch that wasn't a powder product. It is these beautiful lip oils. So I ordered all four of these from Beautylish. Came to my door really, really quickly and I was so excited with my own money. And then that same day that my Beautylish package arrived, I had a package from Viseart and they had actually sent me these NPR, which thank you so much. I am so appreciative. So I do have a full set to give away that I will in my 25k giveaway video, which it is coming. Thank you guys so much for 25k, by the way. And then I also got a set sent to me from Use Beauty Pro because they're coming out with bundles. So again, thank you. And I just, I have a lot to give away. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, I love Vizier. I think they're a great small company. They're doing big things and they create great products. So let's talk about these in particular. So these are lip oils, which I'll kind of talk about lip oils versus regular lip glosses later on in the video. But these are described as oil glosses infused with nourishing benefits of res... Oh, here we go. Resver, resveratrol, yeah, <laughs> grape seed, jojoba, and sunflower seed oil. So these are all basically ingredients that rejuvenate, repair, and renew, nourish your lips. Very nourishing ingredients. This collection can be worn alone, layered over your favorite lip color, or mixed together. Interesting, I didn't think about mixing these colors together. Uh, basic facts about this product is that they are $19 individually, or you can purchase them in a bundle on Beautylish, I know is $76, or you can actually purchase them with a matching lip pencil from Use Beauty Pro for $30, which actually saves you $9, and these are one of the most amazing lip pencils ever and I'll talk about the bundles later on in the video but I definitely would recommend picking up the bundles because these are one of my favorite lip liners so you do get a little bit of a seal as far as that goes at the end of my little paper says that these oil glosses are part of our seasonal Paris nudes collection and match shades in our newest romance infused Paris edit palette release for Valentine's Day so I don't know if that means they are a limited edition but it's a part of a collection that's seasonal so yeah that's the facts on that so the packaging of these are very very simple. Viseart always has very simple packaging. It's because it's not meant to impress anybody, you know? It's just the product inside speaks for itself typically. So it's just a clear, typical kind of lip gloss case and it says Viseart. On the bottom, you have the name. When you open it up, the lip oil does have a sweet smell to it. I think it's supposed to be like some sort of pear scent, but yeah, it doesn't smell like chemically. It's not unscented. It has a very subtle sweet smell to it, which does not carry over once it's on your lips. It's just more so about the application where you actually smell it and then it goes away. So it's not super strong if you are sensitive to scents. And then the applicator, I actually really enjoy this. It's not like a fat round doe foot. So it is a doe foot, but it's, I don't know if you can see but it's kind of like flat so there are some lip glosses that will have this and it's more of like a rubber paddle this is a paddle shape but a doe foot end and what I really like about that is you can use the flat side to really spread out the product but then you can also use this top part to really kind of draw on the lip and create a shape. So I really like that this is a doe foot that has that flatness to it to really spread out the product. So that's really nice. And the hairs of the doe foot aren't too long. I feel like I have had occasional lip glosses where I felt like they were too long. It would just get gross with the gloss. No, this is really good. Another thing that I do like is that she did only release four colors. I know for a reviewer like me and for my wallet, that makes it a lot easier, a lot less expensive. But I just feel like if you're looking to just purchase one it's a lot easier to pick out a shade that you want it's not overwhelming i do feel like she could have put like a raspberry color or a red or something bright just to kind of really complete the range because everything is quite neutral and muted and i think just adding that one bright pop would be really fun i mean i think a raspberry would go really well with this type of formula and just with the range itself but i do think generally speaking she did a really good job with this color 
range. So before I get into the lip swatches, I do want to quickly explain the formula itself to you. This is a lip oil. It's not a lip gloss. Lip oils typically do not have too much pigmentation to them. They are more so there to nourish your lips while also adding a little bit of color to your face typically. Whereas a gloss, it adds more color. It's Even though glosses are moisturizing, they don't nourish. I don't know if you've ever noticed when you've applied a lip gloss that it still dried your lips out. I definitely noticed that these don't, so they're not meant to add color. They're meant to melt into the lips, whether that be under a product or just on top of the bare lips. So with the nature of that slipness and the oiliness, you're not going to get as long of a wear time as a regular gloss because it's not sticky. It's really slick. It sinks into the lips. You are going to get that shine, but it's not going to last forever. But it does add a nice plumpness and a little sheen that does carry on. So I'm going to go over the four shades. So we have a really light pinky kind of color. This is called Petal. Now this is basically a complete clear color on the lips. There's almost nothing really to it. I was excited about it if it did have some color, but I think it's completely fair to have this basically be very clear. This is the type of color that I would use for more of a lip conditioner. So if I'm just running out the door and I want a little bit of like a glossiness to my lips, but I really just want to nourish my lips, that is when I would use this color. You of course can put it on top of any lip color, but I'm weird. I hate when a lip color like gets stuck to the doe foot and you have to wipe it. So for me, this would pretty much be my lip conditioner just to have a little bit of plumpness to my lips without adding any color so just throw this on before you leave the house kind of color and then the next one that we have which is my favorite I googled how to pronounce it because of course it is French and it is Fleur literally I'm, that's how she said it Fleur Anyways, F-L-E-U-R. This is my favorite color. It's kind of like a rosy brown. There's definitely some taupe to it. Really love this color. This color I have been wearing to work. I don't wear anything on my lips to work. So this adds just enough color to my lips to where it makes my lips look more plump. It brings them back to life from the powder foundation that fell onto it and the crustiness just from sleeping with my mouth open. My lips get really dry. So this nourishes it. It adds a your lip color, but better kind of a vibe to my lips. So it really livens up my face, brings some life back to me like it's not six in the morning. And I've just really been loving this color. I think for my subscribers, I definitely recommend this color to you the most. I think it's the most universally flattering and it's great for every day. Then the next one that we have is Beignet. So Anastasia, the owner of Vizzy Art, she even posted that this color can look a little bit weird, but once you put it on the lips, it's very unique. So this is actually the color that I have on right now. Now I do have it over a nude lip liner. The nude lip liner from Isom, by the way, this bundle that you can get, yes. So this color alone on my lips looked a little bit odd. I just don't think it's very flattering for my skin tone. But if you have like caramel skin or like a skin tone like JLo, this is going to look stunning on your lips, kind of like that nude monochromatic lip with your skin but just really sexy glossy your lips but better kind of color so I do think the undertone on me was a bit unflattering it is sheer as well which is not the most flattering in this tone on my lips but if you have a caramel skin tone I feel like this is going to look bomb on you like a really sexy shade then the last shade that we have is cerise which is obviously a very dark kind of intimidating looking color on the lips it's a little bit more berry this does have a pretty good amount of pigmentation to it considering it is a lip oil however on my skin tone because I am so fair the patchiness that this has when I wear it alone with like no lip liner or no base underneath really shows through because it is such a dark color and I am such a fair girl that this does look patchy if you have a deeper skin tone or a deep skin tone I think this is going to look stunning on your lips to really add some color to your face. It just doesn't look good against my pale skin. You can see kind of how uneven it is. So I feel like for me, I definitely need a base color underneath and put this on top like a lip liner, which would be the Isom Plum Lip Liner, by the way, which would go fabulous with this. That's the way that this is going to work for me. But I think deep skin tones, yes. Light to medium skin tones, no. Unless you plan on wearing this with a base color. So these are sheer for a lip oil not bad at all as far as pigmentation goes. You can wear these alone, which I would wear these two alone. 
as we get into these range, I would not wear these alone. This one, mostly because it's just unflattering on my skin tone. I need a base color underneath just to kind of manipulate that undertone. And this just because it's uneven. I think it really does depend on your skin tone as far as how you do that. But what's great about this formula is you can wear them alone and it'll just really condition your lips, add that shine, add that plumpness, or like this color, it still brought some life back to my face. Because it's an oil, it melts into whatever you have underneath of it. So if you have a liquid lipstick that's really drying, this will melt right into that liquid lipstick and make it instantly comfortable and add some plumpness to your lips. Even if you have a cream lipstick, it just melts in with whatever you put it on top of. It like becomes a one really nice smooth formula. That also is how you're going to increase the longevity of these lip oils because if you wear these alone, they will be gone in 20 to 30 minutes, especially if you're eating, especially if you're drinking. The moisture will stay there, which is part of the benefits of a lip oil, but the color will be gone. The sheen will be gone. So just be aware of that. So if you want longevity, make sure you put something underneath. And then also what's great about them is they are extremely easy to apply. You don't have to look into a mirror or anything because they don't have too much pigmentation. You can just kind of put them on for a little pick-me-up and it'll bring that shine right back. So that's the only kind of negative I have about this formula is that they aren't long wearing, but they're a lip oil, so that's what it is. So it does what it's supposed to do. They do a really good job. So as far as ordering these, if you are interested, like I said, these are $19 individually. You can buy the whole bundle, but also a deal that I thought was really nice that I thought some of you might be interested in is on Muse Beauty Pro, they have matched one of their Esam lip liners to each of the colors. I've talked about these lip liners before. These are one of my favorites and I would give these away to you guys, but like I'm keeping them because I use these in my makeup kit. That's how much I love them. I use these on my brides. So this is the lip color that I'm wearing right now, just so you can see. So this is the nude lip liner and these are dual ended and they're very, very smooth and creamy. And this is the colors. I kind of mix both of these for my lips today. And this comes with beignet right here, the perfect lip combo. So even this, if this color is kind of ugly on your skin tone, like it was for mine, this instantly made it better. And this is like one of my favorite lip liner colors ever anyways. And then all of the other three, since they are more pinky plummy based, they are going to come with the plum dual lip pencil. So the rosier lighter shade is a great everyday lip pencil. It kind of reminds me of Done Undone from Pat McGrath. And the nude, the lighter color reminds me of Contour from Pat McGrath. And then you have an actual plum. So if any of these colors stand out to you, you can also get this along with it. So it would be $30 to get this little bundle. Originally it would be $39 because these are like $20 I believe. So I think that's a really good way to get a hold of these lip liners because you guys know I love these lip liners anyways to begin with. So when I saw they were doing this bundle, I was really excited so that I could share that with you guys. Uh, so final thing I wanted to do was compare it to Fenty lip glosses just because I feel like a lot of you have tried it. So the formula differences between this and the Fenty is that the Fenty is actually thicker. So even though the Fenty is very slick. It's not sticky at all. It is thicker on the lips and you can feel it. So this is even more lightweight on the lips and I feel like the oils are more nourishing anyways. They uh, sink into your lip product better. They sink into your lips better. It's an oil product. It's different than the Fenty, which is more long lasting, but this is much more nourishing on the lips. So that is all I have for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about this new release. And if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, I sure do hope you take the time to do so. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys, have a good one.